Hey gang, welcome to the Brasserio. When you are a designer or an artist, it's important to have all your reference images organized and readily available. However, the more resources you have, the more difficult it can be to keep everything in order. Thankfully, I found the perfect tool for this. The program is called Eagle and it will change your life if you're into creating a personal reference database. I mainly use reference images to create 3D models with realistic textures. And my need for a tool to collect these reference images came over the summer while I was taking a three month course over at the Think Tank Training Center. Before I would create Pinterest boards or save the images on my hard disk to later put them in a program called PureRef. But this felt too cumbersome while actively collecting. There were just too many steps. So after searching on producthunt.com, I found Eagle and it just clicked from the first moment. With that being said, let me explain to you how I use this tool. The main tool is a desktop application that you can download through their website. And the second part is a Chrome extension to quickly capture images while browsing the web. The type of files that you can store is quite broad. Most formats of media file types, from basic image formats to video, fonts, audio files and 3D models. Even 3D scenes from applications like Cinema 4D and Blender. I get a lot of my collecting done while browsing the web. When I see something that I really like or that's even vaguely what I'm looking for, I capture it through the Chrome extension. For example, I have this project where I have a 3D flashbang grenade and I thought it would be cool to texture with a porcelain and gold look. So I search for images that refer to those properties and capture them while browsing. I never have a set amount I want to capture. But when I feel I have enough, I like to jump into Eagle and start sorting the images into folders. For me, folders work the best, but you can also use tags or other ratings like colors, stars or notes. And if I have enough material to work with, I like to create a smart filter for the project so I have all my images on the one button. For my initial needs, this was enough. But as I explained, the application could do so much more. I decided I want to explore what else the software could do for me. So I found that having a library of preview images for my HDRIs is quite helpful. Also, I started to create an overview of the new 3D models coming to my hard drive. Other uses can be creating a library of fonts that you own, having a nice overview of audio files on your computer and their latest edition, which is collecting videos from Vimeo and YouTube. There is a lot of utility for this program and it goes way beyond my personal needs. And now for the best part, the pricing, which is just a breath of fresh air in these times. No subscription required, just a one-time price of $29.95 and you get to test it out for free for 30 days. So for me, it's a definite recommend to all the designers and artists out there. Till next time, peace.